Well, salute to Mondo. Well, how do their chums? I've managed to get two more emotes. When you log into the game, you get a screen pop up and it says to link your Amazon account. So I did, done all that. And then all I did was went into here and went into my storage chest. So let's, um, let's see if we can bring it up. So go into shop there and hit storage chest and it'll appear here. You just simply claim it. So I've got two new emoji emojis or whatever they are. Um, but anyway, we're going to go over to the emoti house. Oh, where's my emoti gone? There's usually an icon here, isn't there? How bizarre. All right, OK, fine. Um, I'll do it using joypad then. It's probably simpler anyway. So you hold down L, tap in oh, the, the stick, and here we go. We're going to go there now. Zoom. Maybe I haven't got an emoti. Oh, I have got one. Look, it's down by my feet. So I don't know why that didn't work. Anyway, let's go into game. So we did send them off on an expedition. So I should be able to interact in here. Expedition has been completed, mancated. Brilliant, that's my team. And claim reward. Oh no, I want to claim reward. That's over here. Woo, awesome. Got myself some coins and stuff. You can see my new emojis here. There, there, there they are, look. Sweet. I don't know whether I'm actually adding them or what. Oh, we can only do one. All right, so we've sent off the grey... The gray, oh, all these are locked at the moment, aren't they? So I guess I've got to do this again. So Golden Ray Pastures, we'll be sending this out again. So shit, oh, hold on. Expedition time. You know what, I might as well put it on eight hours. Can I add more than one person in? You can only set... You can... You can okay, all right, just the one. Just the one. Okay, fine. Let's do that. We're doing an eight hour one. Just one a day is fine by me, you know? All right, we're sending my new one out. That'd be cool. Right. Well, that's that done then. There's loads of these things to collect. I quite like them all. They're really quite cute little creatures, to be honest. Right, so let's go into my emote. Let's, uh, let's change mine out for now. I'll have this guy for a bit. Yeah. Let's see if he disappears then. Look, he disappeared, and a new one should come in. There it is! Freaking awesome! I don't know why it's not appearing down on my bottom, like, tasky thing there, though. Maybe you have to... Do you have to actually equip them from character info? I don't think so. Oh, God. I don't think you do, no. Mm, it's probably easier to use the mouse on this, isn't it, to be fair? Unequip all. I don't know. I don't know. Pretty odd. Pretty strange. I mean, he's there. He's with me. I don't know why I haven't got the little emoji icon anymore. Oh, there he is. It's appeared now. There it is right there. Anyway, let's exit here and we'll press on with the day. Enough, enough of that. But there we go. Don't forget to send out your emojis on daily quests. There we go. I guess. So what have I got below me right now? So, yeah. I'm kind of in the wrong place for this, aren't I? Because you can't see the missions. So let's see if I can move myself around a bit and uh, get myself somewhere where you can see a little bit better. One second. Right, chums. Well, I've moved myself down to the very bottom of the list because technically you work on these things from the top down, or at least I do anyway. So you've got the Abyssal Contract. Speak to Runtain at, Ka at Carmain Forest. So here we go. Let's go to Carmain Forest then. Now the thing is, I like to use this for um, my my keyboard and mouse for sort of like moving around here. Carmain Forest, where are you, Carmain Forest? I'm not actually seeing it on there, so okay, let's go back to Joypad then. Carmain Forest, where are you? There it is, right there. I don't know why I didn't see it in the list. And off we go. Sweet, I'm still under level 30, so I still get free travel at the moment. We're close to level 13 and I'm going to have to start paying for my tra teleportations, which fun times. All right, so I think we've got to go that away. Sweet. Let's head on over this way then. Yeah, cool. I've got a little, my little emoji or whatever this thing is. I don't know what they actually are. A, a motai or something? Oh, God. Get out of it. Yay! No, you don't. Where the fudge is this guy? Okay, there he is. Hello. You're here. I am. Thank yes. Thank you for coming. 
That's all right, mate. You, everything worked out. I'm in Good. your debt. Oh, you see. Yeah. Do you remember the mana recording device we set up to monitor Morikai? Yeah. When I came back from looking for the children, I felt a suspicious energy from it. Suspicious, you say? Okay, tell me more, sir. Tell me I more. I explored the area, and there are strange entities called soul arbiters appearing in the forest lately. If you defeat one, a small flame spirit will emerge and lead you to another area. Right, okay. Right. Interesting. I think they lead towards Celius' abyss. Anyway... We don't know what else will happen in the forest if we just leave them. Oh, for fudge sake! Frickin' spider! Take that, you frickin' git! Oh, now I'm stuck. Alright. Tell me more. You're here! Yes! Thank you. Oh, oh for fudge sake. You see, I explored yeah. the area. And there are strange entities called soul arbiters appearing in the forest lately. Okay. If you defeat one, a small flame spirit will emerge and lead you to another area. Fair enough. I think they lead towards Celius' abyss. Anyway, we don't know what else will happen in the forest if we just leave them be. The problem is, it's hard for me to explore the area alone. Okay, well leave it with me. I'll see what I can do, hey? Thank you so much. Sophia and Robert can help me because they're busy. Well, Sophia just got turned into a vampire just the other day. If you didn't see that episode, mate, go and watch it, Routine! Yeah. Again, when you eliminate one of the soul arbiters that appear in the forest, a small flame spirit will appear. Okay. Yeah. Please follow it and find out the cause of the suspicious energy. All right, fine. Destroy a soul arbiter, follow the flame spirit. Lovely, According jubbly. According to local guards, you can hear a terrible scream when several soul arbiters gather in one place. Right. Maybe that has something to do with this energy. Perhaps, mate, yeah. Oh, and when you enter Celius' abyss, please be sure to do so in a group. It's a dangerous place to be alone. Serious, mate? I ain't got a group. Okay, right. Well, that sounds fun. So we're going to be doing that in a moment, people. Go on. I'll reconvene in a sec. Okay, chums. Well, I think I'm in a fairly decent point now. You know, a fairly decent place. I'm not seeing it put any markers up. Defeat the soul arbiters. So, I don't even remember where I put the dang thing, to be honest. But hopefully there's a, some sort of marker there. I mean, it, it's showing a mushroom here. Oh, would you do one, mate? Fudge you! Would you do that? We're short-handed. Thank you. Oh, Let yeah. Know when you're done. Yeah, I, I had to do something for you, didn't I, mate? I can't remember what, though. Yeah, I had to do something for this guy, Ruffello, but whatever reason, I had to do something else first. I went and did that. No, ah, it's not letting me talk to them. All right, fine. Would you do that? We're short-handed. Thank you. Um, Let Evo know when you're done. Because that mark is on top of the other marker, I can't actually freaking see how far away it is or whether it's even close. Let's bring up the map screen. Has it given me any new markers in close proximity? What the fudge is this one down here? Romance of fishing. No, that's that's not what I want to do. Right, so somewhere in this wood, I've got to find this... I don't know. Some weird creature thing that I destroy, then follow the flame. But it hasn't marked it for me. And I don't really overly know what I'm looking for. Well, we get a medicinal mushroom while we're here anyway. All right, I've got to defeat a soul arbiter do in the car main forest. Short -handed. Oh, shut Thank it, you. mate. Let Avo so, know when you're done. Car main forest. Let's put a marker on there for now. Actually, if I just carry on going the way I'm freaking going, I should get to car main forest. Right, so here we go. Now I've got to find this soul arbiter, the spider cocoon. Star tree. Well, what's that one? It's at home then. I mean, I put these echo devices up, didn't I? Like you said, I just can't remember where I bloody put them. And I'm not seeing any star arbiters around here. There's, there's nothing. 
or whatever they're called, soul arbiters. There's some places you can only go when it rains. All right, fine, mate. Cool. Keep that in mind. Oh, fudge, mate. Leave me alone. I'm looking for something. It's not you. Okay, right. Oh, he's not, he's not giving up, is he? Oh, I'll have that in the freaking... Oh, fudge, mate. Lock on to this sucker. The one that's freaking hitting me, funny enough. Oh, for fudge sake. One hit and he's dead. Right. Now stop locking onto things. Right. Soul Arbiters. I can't see any of the dang things. All right, I'm just going to wander around until I find something. But for you guys, that's quite boring, especially since I'm getting attacked every five seconds by things that I don't want to fight. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Oh, chums, I haven't had much luck in finding these soul arbiters, so I'll just teleport it back because this is actually the Carmine Forest sort of thing. Um... So I'm going to head this way and have a look, see if I can spot any soul arbiters just following this path. Because they've got to be around here somewhere, haven't they? Help if I knew what I was freaking looking for exactly. I'm just looking for a marker that says soul arbiter, to be fair. Let's just try and go in a little bit further down this windy path. Okay. Ah, there's grapple points around here. All right. Um, maybe let's just take one of these grapple points. I don't want to go near to the poxy spiders. That's the thing. Because they just attack you, don't they? For no freaking reason. Okay. Now, this is fairly close to where I picked up the actual quest, though, isn't it? All right, let's just have a look around here. Come on, soul arbiters. Where are you? Now, I didn't go far when I actually put down that echo thing. Hold on, there's one. And look, it's got a little marker above its head. Look, there's there's actually a little purple tiny marker on the map above me, right at the top. Look, there he is. There's a soul arbiter right there. Right, let's get him. Get out of it, mate. Yeah, take that spider of evil. Oh, for fudge's sake! Stop it, spider! Okay, right, we've killed him. Now we've got to follow this flamey thing. All right, let's do that. Come on. Go, little flamey guy. I'm being chased by a freaking spider here. And it's not giving up. Come on. Oh, for fudge. Stop leading me into spiders! <laughs> There's a git, isn't it? No, they're not doing much damage. I'll just ignore them. Hopefully I don't get poisoned or venomed or whatever. And then take, you know, persistent damage. What's that noise? It sounded like a waterfall or something. Yeah. Rift stones can only be occupied... What? No, mate. Didn't get to read all of that message. Oh, wow. What was it taking me? This is cool. There's a giant gateway. Thank you. There's another soul arbiter there. Are you going to disappear and I've got to kill another one? Is that what's going to happen? I think that's what's going to happen. Nope. All right. Fine. Cool. So there seems to be quite a lot of these soul arbiters just littered around. I just thought, you know, there was another one just there. I don't say a lot. There's, there's a few. But you saw where I found this one, right? So hopefully you can sort of go by where I was in the map and hopefully you might find the same soul arbiter as I did. Well, there's another one up there, look, right by Moon Lake. There's one right here where I am now, look, just to the left of me there. Okay, so head to Moon Lake if you're struggling to find a soul arbiter. And at least you're a little bit closer to the destination. Cool. I'm heading this way. 
Where to now, mate? That way? Okay. Jeez. Louise, this is a frickin' track and a half! Okay, we're going this way, are we? Oh, look, there's another frickin' stone there for teleportations. Nice. I'm going to hit that up if I can. I don't want to go too far ahead of this thing, but I do want to touch that stone. Hmm. If I touch that stone, though, am I going to lose this soul arbiter soul? Okay, we've, we've made it to Celius's abyss. Where is this soul thing going? It's going to go in there, isn't it? Well, I'm going to just follow this for now. I might have to double back, though. And just hit that teleporter. Come on! Oh, my days. It just... It just... This must be the place, then. Alright, cool. I'm just going to double back, and I'm going to touch that stone. Okay. Let's hit this then. The thing is, is that that th the freaking mission the crypt hasn't of the moved ancient on. King is now called Celius's Abyss after Celius, one of Gridal's five disciples, went into hiding there. Okay. Celius filled the tomb with skeletons and liches and secluded himself in the depths. All right. Nobody knows what he is doing in there. Pretty darn cool. Okay. Follow the, the soldier's soul. It's still telling me to do that. Maybe I'm going to have to pop another one now. But we kind of know where it bloody went. It it went down. It went down into that hole there, which I don't really fancy. So I'll go hit this as well. Sweet. I wonder if it's just going to change. Follow the soldier's soul that appears, defeating a soul arbiter, and then defeat Circe. Well, I've, I know that it went down here, so let's go see if Circe is inside of here. I don't really fancy going back and getting another soul arbiter with all them freaking annoying spiders that are super aggressive. Here we go, let's head on in. Let's just see if this works. Okay, so I'm in. Dark, got dark skeletons in here. Take this, dark skeleton! Now, it did say to come in here with multiple people, didn't it? To form a party or something. I can see why. These guys are a little bit tougher than I expected them to be. Right, charge shot in the face! Okay, come on. Take that. Oh, my days. You're taking some killing, aren't you? I'm struggling with just one. I don't think this is a clever idea. Okay. What's this thing over here? Abyss entrance. All right, it still hasn't moved on from that appendix, you know? I'm wondering whether I need to go back and follow up. Uh, yeah. Let's go get another soul arbiter then, shall we? Because for whatever reason, that mission... Oh, there we go, look. There's a, there's a witch right there. So we've got to fight that thing. Yeah, charge shot in the face! Hiya! Fireballs! And I think we've done it. There we go. Speak to Runtain. Okay, cool. 
right, we've done that then. I don't overly fancy going in that place. Those skeletons were freaking almost killing me. And that was just one on his own. There we go. And we can still free move. I still haven't gone up a level yet. Sweet. Okay, now I've got to go speak to that, that chappy. Oh, he's up here. Okay. My little emoti or whatever the thing likes to get him wet. Interesting. Welcome back. Hello. Did you find anything? Yes, some ghosty witch that I slapped in the head. I see. Cersei. I've yeah. heard tales of her before. She was said to have used dark magic to control spirits. So the mm. townsfolk got spooked and had her banished. Okay. No one has seen or heard of her since then. But I never thought she'd end up in Celius' abyss. By the way, did anything weird happen there? I went up against some skeletons that were freaking hard as nails, mate. According to the spellbook of Hale Verpheus, a unique phenomenon called the Abyssal Contract occurs in places dominated by darkness. Could be what was going on, maybe. It is said that hunting monsters outside such realms like Celius's Abyss accumulates a special energy, which right. then manifests itself upon entering said realms. The interesting stuff, mate. Apparently, this sort of thing only happens to star fragment bearers, and it can greatly increase their strength and skills. If so, perhaps you... Yeah, I have experienced something like that, yeah. But um, I don't overly fancy going in there right now. See what happens the next time you go into a dark place like that. Perhaps you can use this phenomenon to your advantage. Phenomenon! Bam, 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 bam. Phenomenon! Anyway, thank you for your help with the investigation. Yeah. We need to look more closely at the relationship between Cersei and Celius. Good plan, you do that bit. Right, there we go, we've done that then. Fantastamondo! Brilliante! Heck yes! Oh, we've got a giant whale flying overhead. Hello, giant whale, you man, whale, whale! It's pretty darn cool, you can ride that, you know. There's so much that I know that I can do that I haven't done yet. Okay, right. So, appendix. The Guardian's Pale. Go to Jack Handler's. Okay. Where was Jack Handler? I can't remember where he freaking was. Okay. Um, I think he was in the main Castleton, wasn't he? But I'm not seeing a purple marker there, so... What's this? We could go do some fishing, maybe? Oh, my game's just locked up. I'm not seeing purple freaking markers. Normally, when you when you use mouse and keyboard and mouse, it comes up like this, and you can see the purple markers in the side here. So you've got Stones Guard Castle. Is that Jack Handler? Yeah, there we go. There's Jack Handler. It's so much easier using keyboard and mouse to navigate. It really freaking is. Okay, and I haven't unlocked that waypoint, so I can go to that one, which is the nearest one. Sweet. Easier with keyboard and mouse. Righto. So, Jack Handler. I guess I go this way, maybe? Honestly, don't know. I don't think so. I think I need to come out of here. But not by much, right? I mean, I need to get in there. I'm heading towards this at the moment. I can't just jump off the side here, can I? I probably could. But that's not the way I want to go. I want to go the opposite direction. Is it? Is it sending me down here? What the fly? This doesn't feel right. This feels like I'm going into dungeon territory. Yeah, I don't want to go down there. Do I? Alright. So maybe I go here and take a slow route down. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when I get to Jack's, yeah? Yeah, I found a, somewhere over there. I found a fast travel point, oh, which I'm going hey, up to right now. Are you trying to climb up here? Yes, I am. <laughs> you won't make it up here so easily. Why not? Unless you know how to use glide morph like me, that is. Right, okay. How Any do you do glider that, then? can fly all the way here in one go, if they take off from a high place like Tyrus Memorial Hall. Right. Hey, did my bag fall somewhere? Damn it. Okay. Well, uh, I can make my own way. 
Don't you worry about me. Right, so I'm going to go in here and up here, I think. Up chow! Climb! No, I'm probably going to have to do what he said. So, but to be honest, it's just a fast travel point that is going to take me here, which, to be fair, is, 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 is not massive need. It's just on top of there that I needed to get to. But I'd have to glide down. All right, fine. Well, I can't be asked to do whatever he's asking me to do. I mean, I could climb all the way up there and glide down, but... You know, I can. there's other fast travel points in this desert. In fact, I've already put a marker near one. Let's just go there. All right, hopefully see you guys in a bit. Okay, Jums, I just went past a load of real scary looking golems. And I'm over here, and I think I found another fast travel point, which I can hopefully get to quite easy. There we go. So you'll see how close I am, hopefully, when it zooms up in the air. Well, maybe not. But I'm close. Brown mica was found in the village of the stonemasons, gathered to build Stone Guard Castle. Cool. Fernan ignored the masons' warnings and dug deeply into the earth to get the brown mica, allowing the monsters sealed underground to emerge. Okay. Very cool. I love the biomes in this, I have to say. Very cool. Right, I'll show you where I am right now. So I'm there, and I've got to go to this one, and then onto this one. I'll put a personal pin there. There we go. So you've got one, and then two. And I am somewhere around here right now. I'm there. Okay, right. Uh-oh. The monsters. Monsters everywhere. Okay, so I'm heading this way. I wonder if I get up these ramparts, whether I could then turn into a bird and fly over there. Oh, great. That didn't quite go as planned. Ow! Alright, sod that then. We'll just go through this gate and head down the pathway, I guess. Hopefully this is going to take me to where I need to go. Gigante's Blessing. What the fudge? I don't know what these things are that are popping up all over the place. Alright, so there's one over here. Let's see if we can get to it. Alright, it seems to be on top of here. Well, how the... Right, maybe I can just go up this winding staircase to get to that one. Let's give it a go. Okay, I don't need to be a dog anymore. Hmm. Are you sick and tired of being discriminated in the world? Our hearts beat the same tune as yours. How much longer can you live under the boot of oppressors? Alright. Cheer up, mate. Here we go. We're up here. Let's hit that. Boom. Very cool area. The head of the Stonemasons Association, Sienna Jesus. Parsons, learned about the power sealed in the Titan Reach ruins. I think that's where I'm going. As a former senior wizard of Venelux, she awakened the sealed power with the golem's heart and crafted a giant golem that was decisive wow. in ousting Fernan. Looks like he's in the ground there or something. I don't know. There's a couple of faces, isn't there? there. Holy fudge. Hopefully that thing doesn't rise out of the ground and attack me. Right, now we're heading to point number two, which is over this way. Into a dog. But yeah, that looks like a golem there. That looks like it could come alive at any freaking moment. You know what? I think this castle was in the trailer, and that's exactly what was going on. And it was smashing through all these walls and stuff. It was a massive skirmish. Man, don't say that that's going to happen soon. I don't know whether I'm tooled up and ready for that sort of stuff. Alright, let's head on over here then. Let's hit this one up. A couple of cutscenes this episode, people. Sweet. The Lord of Stone Guard, Fernin, an Archeum ally, was famous for being a particularly harsh ruler. He would frequently order the deaths of castle workers, prompting many to flee for their lives. 
His reign of terror ended when the leader of the Stone Guard Resistance, Jake Hander, arrived. He and his allies drove Fernin from the castle. Right. Okay. Sweet. Right, well, let's head on in then. Let's have a quick look. There's loads of anchor points on here, isn't there? Okay, well, where's, um, where's my chappy? I think he's in here somewhere. It's funny because some characters, like actual players, have got like these little purple glows around them, and I keep getting mistaken for those and way markers. Okay, so I'm in here now, and it's sort of sending me over to the right. And then this way, maybe? No. Up here, then I take it. And this way? I didn't come here to see Jack Handler before, so maybe he's gone gallivanting around or something. But this isn't the same place I went to, is it? Oh, there he is, though. I teleported here, though, didn't I? Somehow. Hello there, chap. Oh, you're back. I am. What happened? I got very lost. I did kill a vampire, though, so thank you very much. And yes, and Sophia is on the mend. Oh. That means you defeated the creature. I did, yes. Yes, slapped him in, I poked him in the eyes, trod on his toes, and kicked him in the knackers, mate. Frickin' at him. <laughs> Amazing. My eyes didn't deceive me. I knew you could do it. Yeah, that I'm sneaky. guardian seems to have chosen you. This guardian's pledge didn't open, even for me. What an honor. Oh, okay, cool. Do I get to keep it then? Guardian lends its power to your soul through the pledge ritual. Sweet. It becomes contained in the Guardian's pledge if the pledge bearer dies. The owner of that Guardian's pledge may transform into the Guardian at any time to use their power. Okay, Coke. All right. Well, and is there any more of these pledges? It's very sort of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I'm all for it. Love it. Their circumstances vary. There are pledges to protect cherished ones, or pledges that someone has forced. Okay, doesn't sound As so good. As you likely already know, to maximize the Guardian's power, you need pledge loops. The more of these Guardian's forgotten memories that you find, the more powerful that Guardian will become. This sounds cool. Alright, well thank you very much there, Jack. So I get to keep this, right? Yeah, definitely. I don't have to pay you or anything. Oh, uh, wait! Why not try joining our guild? Okay, sounds good to me. Um, or actually, I, I could create my own, couldn't I, really, I guess? <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. But it can't be helped. Visit me any time you change your mind. All right. I might change my mind almost immediately, to be honest, because, you know, more the merrier. But then again, am I, am I sort of aligned with Sophia and her friends? I think I am, aren't I? All right, I don't think there's anything in here that I can pillage, is there? I just saw that glow in. It's just epoxy candle. No. There's something that I think they're lacking in this game. Is loot. Like chests and things. You know, it's like that right there. That looks like a nice little tea caddy. I would have loved to have got some PG tips out of that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, anyway, we're going to exit the office now. I think we're about done. We get to keep that pledge. That's nice. Sweet. Now what? In Jake Hander's office, the two leaders of the Resistance, Da Vinci Aaron and Jake Hander, were in the middle of a fierce discussion over the Resistance's siege warfare. After coming to an agreement, Jake asked you to keep the Guardian's pledge well and explained to you about the pledge and the Guardian. He said that the Guardians are those who have offered up their soul and power through the pledge, and the pledge's owner may morph into the Guardian to use their power at any time. Go. Cool. All right. Well, there we go, people. I think that's probably a good stopping point for today's episode. I know we haven't actually done anything or really attacked much or killed much, and for that matter, apart from that witch. It's just been an exploration episode, this one, hasn't it, really? So, there we go, peeps. Next episode, I might go fishing. Might as well get that off the appendix, and that seems to be more of a side hustle than the actual quest. So, might as well learn how to fish next episode, and I might keep that one extremely short. So there we go, peeps. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. I kind of have. I mean, it would have been nice to have had more action, but, you know, not every episode's going to be the same. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.